guys, what is up? It is I, James Penrose, back again for my next video. Welcome, and in this video, I'm finally going to be giving my reaction and my thoughts to Canelo Alvarez versus Billy Joe Saunders, that fight that happened just the other night. But before I get into that, I've literally just got to say thank you guys. Literally, thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers that are coming in, for all the big-time views that the John Cena Roman Reigns video that I did three years ago is now getting... Honestly, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I honestly, I, I'll never, I'll never forget it, man. Honestly, much appreciated. And yeah, on to bigger, better things. Hopefully, in the future. But on to this video in particular. We're going to be talking about the fight that happened the other night. Obviously, I did my preview and predictions video for this fight, and I said, I said in that video in my head, I kind of thought, yeah, Canelo's going to be too much for Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, I mean, we all kind of knew Billy Joe Saunders hasn't really no even close fought on the level that Canelo Alvarez has fought on. I mean, his only defeat was to Floyd Mayweather seven and a half years ago, and what he has done since then, it's actually mind-boggling to this day when you think about how easily Mayweather just completely completely schooled Canelo back in the day but that was then this is now and you know as fight week came and as we got closer and closer and closer to the fight the more I really actually started to believe Billy Joe Saunders he could be the one to stop Canelo and I did also say that out of all the British fighters that Canelo was fought Billy Joe Saunders would be the one to do the best that would give him more of a you know, more of a challenge, you know, more, to make it more of a closer fight. And that is pretty much exactly what happened, I feel. Um, obviously, it was in AT&T Stadium in Dallas. We had, I think, 73,000 people. I mean, you saw the photos with Matchroom, and it was honestly unbelievable. What a sight. Um, and we go into the fight, and, um, yeah, it was pretty much what I... I kind of said what I thought it was going to be. Obviously, the first round was kind of a uh, back and forth, but at the same time, filling each other out with Billy Joe Saunders, probably still just nicking the round, but it was close. And in rounds two, three, and four, Canelo really started to let his combinations go and just ignore that. That's my cat, just crying like a baby. And um, in rounds two, three, and four, that's when Canelo started to really, you know, try and close down Billy Joe with body shots, you know, with right hands to the head. And the way he throws those combinations, man, I said it in the preview, man, his speed is it's unmatched, it's unrivaled, fam. Even when you think, you know, you've got the speed and, you know, just to avoid it. But once he hits you, you're like, oh, shit. Okay, time to regroup now. Um, but as the rounds went on, rounds five, six, and seven, you started you started to see a rhythm in Billy Joe's punching and, you know, his defence. Even though at the odd times he was getting caught, obviously. I mean, it's Canelo. I mean, 12 rounds and you're not going to get caught by Canelo. It's borderline impossible unless you're Mayweather. But, um, but for round six, seven, and even round five, I started to see a pattern in starting to get a rhythm going, landing shots, trying to back up Canelo because that was, you know, a fear that... Billy Joe Saunders was going to get backed up too much and he's going to fight, you know, with too much fear in him. And I, and I said he has to fight with no fear. You back up Canelo. You don't get backed up yourself. You throw combinations and you give Canelo something to worry about. And in those rounds, he kind of did, you know, landed some good counter shots. Obviously, as a Southpaw fighter, it's going to be awkward for Canelo. I mean, Southpaws, they cause everyone problems, man. And Billy Joe Saunders in particular, he ain't an easy Southpaw to fight by no means. And after round seven, I thought, all right, we got a fight here. It's close. And round eight, that's kind of when it ooh, started to go wrong. Round eight, that's when Canelo really, really started to hit home. He was feeding off to the crowd. I mean, he, he was pretty much saying, come on, let's make some noise now because I'm about to get the stoppage for y'all. And um, that's when he really started to hit home with combinations. Billy Joe Saunders' his body language was not the best. And at, at the time watching it, I didn't even realize that Billy Joe Saunders' his right eye, I believe it was his right eye, was just completely swollen shut at the time. And Canelo really sensed that he... And he was smelling blood throughout that eighth round. And Billy Joe Saunders was not really throwing a lot back for my liking. To the point where I was like, if that carries on through 9, 10 and 11, Billy Joe could get seriously hurt. I mean, he was already injured at that point anyway. But had it carried on probably would have ended up way worse for him. And then that's when you hit the part after round eight. And after and that's a shame as well, man, because after round eight, it was so it was it was close for me. I mean we saw the official judges scorecards after the fight and I gotta say man like, one judge had it two rounds or two points for Canelo, which was kind of eh, you know, maybe I can see that but but two judges had Canelo four points up. What the fuck is that? I mean, that, that that's a disgrace in my opinion. For me, I mean, I wasn't scoring it as I was watching it. But if you to ask me how would I have scored after eight rounds, either 4-4, four, four, a draw, or maybe Canelo by one round. But by no means was Canelo winning by four points. No, that's a joke. So, obviously, yeah, it's sad and to... It's bad to know that, obviously, after the eighth round, that's when Mark Tibbs, Billy Joe Saunders, corner man, or his trainer 
had it took one look at his eye and thought that no, I can't do this because if round nine and ten goes the same way as it did round eight, both eyes are going to be shut. And then what the fuck's Billy Joe Saunders going to do? It's going to be on the canvas, and it's just going to be it's just going to end up way worse. And that's when Matt Tibbs made the decision to pull him out of the fight, and Canelo Alvarez did get the win after an eighth round you know stoppage or the corner pulling him out. And ah man, it's a shame. It really is. But in my head, it was one of them situations where. Canelo, man, he's 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 just amazing, man. I mean, what who who can stop Canelo at this point? I mean, I thought Billy Joe Saunders may have had the best chance out of everyone to to do it, and who's going to do it now? I mean, who's next on the on the agenda for Canelo Alvarez? I hear he's going to unify the super middleweight division with Caleb Plant, I believe, is the IBF champion, and it's like, really, I mean, ugh, I mean, Billy Joe Saunders, he gave um, a, an amazing effort, take nothing away, and he, he will come again. I mean, hell, one loss, is that going to do shit to your career? Hell no. Hell, I'd love to see Billy Joe Saunders versus Callum Smith at super middleweight, but I don't know, maybe Callum Smith's going to move up to light heavyweight. Who knows what's happening there? But Caleb Plant, come on. Come on, guys. He's got no chance. If, if anything, that's going to be a stoppage in round three, four, five. Like, can it, he won't... It'll probably last the same as fucking Yildirim or something like that. I don't know, but Canelo Alvarez will easily win that. I mean, no disrespect. Caleb Plant's a good fighter, but when you're fighting a legend like him, it's just, you know, there's levels to this game, man. There's levels. Um, so that's what's next for Canelo. What's next for Billy Joe Saunders? Again, maybe a, a potential fight with Callum Smith at super middleweight. That would be a great fight to see. Um, I don't know who else could be on the... Chris Eubank Jr., I mean, with... We we all saw him laughing it up on social media, which classic, of course, he's going to do that. I mean, their few years ago was immense, and they had their fight, which Billy Joe Saunders just won that fight for, for me, hands down. If to do it again, Billy Joe Saunders for, again would would win that. So, what's next for both of these guys? I I don't know. Um, those are some potential options, but man, it's just a shame, man. I mean. Whew. If Billy Joe Saunders hadn't got that eye socket, and it's one of the worst injuries you can get as a fighter, the eye socket injury, you know, the orbital bone breaking. And I know that there will be some people saying, oh, did Billy Joe Saunders quit? Did he quit? He's this, he's that. I mean, it's like, for me personally, I can't call him a quitter. He's not a quitter, guys. I mean, guys, if I call him a quitter, that means I'm calling Kel Brook a quitter. That means I'm calling Daniel Dubois a quitter. And then it wasn't, when Kel Brook had his eye injury against Spence, there weren't that many people saying he quit, so... And I don't want to be a hypocrite. So I, Billy Joe Saunders, he ain't got an ounce of quitting him. From, from what I saw, from what I gathered, it was Mark Tibbs who made that decision to, to pull him out the fight. And for me, it was probably the right decision because, again, two more rounds like that, more of a beating, and he's going to be on the canvas, knocked out in a bad way, and we don't want to see that. So Mark Tibbs did the right thing, in my opinion. Leave your thoughts and comments down below, guys. What do you think of the fight? Who would you like to see Billy Joe in the ring with next? Or who would you like to see Canelo Alvarez in the ring with next? And, you know... Here's to more bigger and better, better fights in the future, man. I mean, the, the event was massive, 70,000 people in, in Texas. That stadium is one of the best stadiums I've ever seen. It looks on, honestly phenomenal. Now we're just waiting on the inevitable news, hopefully inevitable news, that Tyson Fury and AJ will be announced. For the love of all that's holy, please, can we announce the song, bitch, please? Obviously, we all know it's going to be in Saudi. We know that. August 14th, that's the rumoured date. Um... Just, just announce it, man. Please, for the love of all that's holy, just announce it. And then the build-up can begin. And I can't wait for that. So other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel. And all I can say is, peace out, my brothers.